Hey everyone, I'm Kai Owens. I'm 18, uh, a senior in high school right now. And I just wanted to tell you guys a bit about my story. And uh, thank you for Bold Blind Beauty for featuring me. So I was totally sighted until about third grade when I started having some vision problems. I then was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa. And uh, recently I've been re-diagnosed with autoimmune retinopathy. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of how my vision is. I'm currently legally blind. I have a lot of blind spots essentially around my uh, central vision and pretty bad acuity. It's like 2250 or so. But yeah, so I want to tell you guys a bit about what I do and uh, kind of who I am. So I started playing drums in fifth grade and I kind of have taken that uh, really as, as much as I can and I'm going to keep going with it. I'm in uh, a metal band right now, and I started playing gigs with different local rock bands and stuff in ninth grade, um, and all the way up through now, which has uh, been really great, and I'm actually planning on studying drum set uh, performance in college. So I'm looking at University of Miami and University of Southern California, and yeah, I'm in the, in the middle of a uh, just pretty much waiting for my college applications to come back and I'm super excited for that next step. Outside of uh, music and everything I've been doing with that, I also do a lot of athletics, um, especially board sports. So I started with board sports when I was a little kid, uh, basically trying to keep up with my brother on a skateboard. Um, and that kind of sparked my love for it. So then I started to pick up skimboarding, which at its basic form is like the little wood boards along with wet sand. And then as you get more advanced, you're basically on like a, a carbon fiber and like foam board, kind of like a surfboard, but thinner without fins. And you slide out to the waves and then basically surf it back in, which is a super fun sport and it's extremely difficult. Um, and w one of my uh, biggest influences in that area is world champion skimboarder Austin Keen, who actually grew up on the same beach that I skimboard at called Tybee Island. And uh, he kind of took an interest in me at a skimboarding camp that he hosted and ended up landing me a sponsorship with one of the companies that he rides for called Exile Skimboards, which is one of the top few skimboarding manufacturers in the world. So that's been super cool and he's been a big help to me and uh, really pushed me to, to kind of go further with the sport. And then outside of skimboarding, I've recently gotten really into surfing um, and started taking that pretty seriously. And then throughout the years, I've also learned how to snowboard and wakeboard. And I've tried wake surfing, but that one still hasn't stuck for some reason. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll get it eventually. Um, but yeah, um, so I plan on just keeping going with everything. One thing that I've found that's helped me the most throughout the years is just learning all the skills that I can, like right off the bat, um, like braille, uh, cane skills, how to use technology, like a screen reader, laptop, uh, like braille, no, like braille display, braille, no touch, anything like that. Really, the more things that you can learn how to use, uh, I found the easier it makes life pretty much because there's always going to be issues with accessibility, um, unfortunately. Hopefully that gets a little better over the years, but the more ways you have to access something, the more likely you are to be able to access it, really. And I've also, uh, my mentor, Joe Streche, who worked uh, as the head of accessibility for Pennsylvania and then started working with TV companies such as Netflix and Apple, to basically train people for um, specific roles on how to look and act blind, basically, um, and how to make it seem like realistic. So even taught the guy who played Daredevil how to actually travel around with a cane, which is really cool. He's a great guy, and um, he's kind of shown me how much blind people are able to do um, in terms of independent travel and uh, life, jobs, everything, and. One of his big things is there's really uh, no shortcuts and you just kinda, you just have to put in the work and put in the grind for it, which has really helped me um, just to be able to keep working at something because these things aren't always easy, but if you really put in the work for it, you'll get it done. 
Um, I'm in all AP classes right now, or as many as I can take in my high school. Um, I've been highest GPA in my class for six out of the past seven years, and I'm on track to be valedictorian of my school. Um, so yeah, it's just really found that blind people can, or visually impaired people can do as much as they, as they're willing to put in the work for pretty much. And I mean, everyone's different, everyone has their different interests, but it's all just about just finding what you like and not letting anyone hold you back or any other people's like notions about you hold you back. So I hope everyone has a great 2020. Hopefully it gets a little better than, uh, or a great 2021. Hopefully it gets a little better than 2020. And yet again, thanks so much to Bold Blind Beauty for uh, featuring me and